Hi there, my name's Andy Young and I'm one of the automotive lecturers down at Unitech in Auckland, New Zealand. And behind me on the hoist is a 2014, maybe 2015, uh, Yamaha Grizzly 450cc uh, ATV quad bike thing. And um, I've been doing a number of workshop tasks on it. Uh, there are other videos that cover doing the valve clearances and uh, doing the caliper overhauls, oh, oh, sorry, servicing the brakes. Uh, what else do we do? Oh, engine oil change, uh, front diff oil change. And now I've got to a video or a task which involves uh, changing the rear final drive oil. Now, on these final drives, it's made by a company that the actual unit itself isn't produced by Yamaha. It's bought in. Uh, Tough Torque, I think it's called. <clears throat> yeah, it's a manufacturer called Tough Talk that Yamaha has had some collaborations with over the last uh, few years. And they actually produce that final drive. Now, um, inside there, there are... Uh, the, the rear brakes on the on the quad bike. There's no calipers. The rear brakes um, or the brake unit is inside that final drive, which is a little bit more like an agricultural vehicle. And it's it's a really really good idea for a quad bike to have that because none of the mud and the water and the contaminants can affect the brake pads. As you know, they weigh down really quick if you're in a a, a gritty silty environment. But because that unit's got friction plates inside it and it runs in the same oil that the crown wheel and pinion operate in, it's normal to use some kind of specialist oil in there. Um, as a result, yesterday when I was doing this work, I came to a dead stop. I had to miss out doing that particular task because it just said uh, in, the, in the manual that I had just to use standard Yamaha friction modified shaft drive gear oil, which is what's in the front diff. But it just felt wrong to me, and I wanted to go and double check. So I did some research last night, and I thought, well, no worries, I'll tag that job onto today. And it turns out, in the actual supplementary manual for that bike, it tells me that Yamaha Friction Modified Shaft Drive Gear Oil, part number 8CC, whatever it is, ACC Shaft LU00, which is that one there, is the oil to go in that particular unit. So there you go, it's going to go in. So this video is going to cover how to change the final drive gear oil um, on a 450 Grizzly. And it's the one with the tough torque um, final drive, not the Yamaha one. The Yamaha, Yamaha made them for the earlier bikes, but on these more recent bikes they've got a, a different manufacturer's final drive made by tough torque. And... Uh, this would apply to that. Now sure, if it's the Yamaha one, the older one, then this is definitely the right stuff for it as well. But it is always best to check the manual. I wasn't sure it didn't really stack up because this is sort of normal, normal 80, 90 gear oil. And, uh, and some of the Tough Talk, uh, the Tough Talk website was, uh, and they predominantly make final drives for lawnmower, tractor lawnmowers and that kind of thing. There were some pretty specific oils going into those. But obviously Yamaha's told them that uh, they need to design something for them that uses the standard oil, which is great. Okay, so we're going to head over to the bike and we're first of all going to drain the oil out of the old unit. Uh, I'm not bothered about inspecting it, the bike is over a year old and this oil should be changed every single year. So we'll drain the old oil out and we'll top it up with the fresh. Here we go. Now, because this unit isn't made by Yamaha, believe it or not, the drain bung doesn't line up with the hole in the bash guard. So we've got to take the whole bash guard off before we can drain the oil, which is a, a number of them six bolts underneath. Right, if it had been the older one, we could have left the bash guard in place. The Yamaha, obviously at this point in time, hadn't redesigned the bash guard to match the new final drive. Just while we're on, that, hole, that bolt there is the filler bump, and that sets the level of the oil in the unit. The drain bung, well that's right down here, underneath, obviously. Right, I think. There we 
here. Three bolts and it's out of the way. So, just to give you some, some bearings. Not that kind of bearing. Okay, that's the final drive. And that's the tough torque details there, look, for this particular one. It's pretty good that it's got the Yamaha part number on there. These things are about 600 bucks uh, US to replace. Now, on the side here, that's the filler bung, and that's going to set our level. But if you go down here, that there is the drain bung. And that's what we need to undo first. So I'm going to undo that, drain the oil out, and top it back up again. Okay, so let's just see how tight this is going to be. There we go. Easy. Right. Oh, it's pretty clean. There's a few, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, there's a few very small particles stuck on the magnet on the, uh, the drain. But yeah, it's pretty good. <clears throat> right, so next job is to uh, undo the filler bone. Which again, shouldn't be too tight. There we go. And I'll be giving you the torque specs of both these two bolts once we've filled up. Okay, let's put that one a bit further back because they look absolutely identical, so I don't want to get them mixed up just to be on the safe side. Now also, just to, just to bear in mind, with this being an American produced unit, I have a sneaky suspicion that that is not a metric thread. So if you lose this, it's going to be a lot harder to replace if you're not in America. Okay, right, so we've pretty much stopped draining all the fluid out now, there's not very much in there. So now we can put the bung back in again. There we go. And we'll go and find a torque setting for that. Let's give it a nip, there we go. Okay. Okay, so torque setting for this one is uh, 22 Newton meters. Looks like we overcooked it, so I'll just slacken it off. And then we'll retorque it. There we go. Cool, now we can put some fresh oil in. Okay, so it's time now to put in the Yamaha friction modified shaft drive gear oil and the quantity that it should take if it had completely drained down would be 0 0.38 liters that's if you're an American which I'm not is 0.33 imperial quartz is it I don't know or 0 0.4 US quartz there you go I'll stick with the 0.38 of a liter right let's go and stick some in Hopefully, Dokley. Right, just thread that through there. And we need a rag to catch the overspill. So basically, we just inject the. Um, oops, sorry, camera. Inject the oil until it starts to run out of the level plug, we call that. And it takes a while because it's a very small. I've had to put a reducer on the pipe. So it's going to take, it's quite thick oil too, so it's going to take a while to get it to go in there. All good things come to those that wait. Well, usually anyway. Now it is really important that uh, you keep the nozzle clean. You don't want to contaminate what's in there, otherwise it's going to damage, cause damage to the bearings and the crown wheel and pinion teeth and... Oh, it's all going to go pear shaped. Okay, looks like we're about there. In fact, it looks like we're definitely there. Okay, we'll just take a bit more in just to be on the safe side. Yeah, be sure. We don't want to underfill it. So give it a wipe. Nah, it's still not coming out yet, so we need some more.
we will continue. Okay, that looks like it's pretty full. So you've got to give it a wipe and then see if it still keeps coming out, which it is. Give it a wipe. And it's still coming out, so that's perfect. Excellent. It is really easy to underfill these things by uh, thinking that it's full to the level when actual fact it's just a bit of blowback or dribble from your nozzle. So yeah, if you give it a clean off and then again it should just just uh, run out and that's telling you that it's absolutely up to the maximum, up to that level. And then we put the bung back on again and I'll go and find a torque setting for that one for you. Oh, well, that's nice and easy to remember. They're both 22 newton meters. Sort of stands to reason because they both look exactly the same bolts. There we go. Done. So all that's left to do now is to refit that bash guard three bolts. Now, with any of these kind of bolts on the quad bikes, you can see, this is only a year old, you see how corroded that, those threads are starting? These things often snap off on the older bikes when they come in for a service, so it's a really good idea just to cake them in copper paste. Copper paste is really good because it tends not to get washed off by pressure washers and stuff, and it, uh, it just stays put for a long time. Now, there's, on these bolts, there's two long ones, and one short one, and the short one goes towards the front of the bike and the long ones at the back. Okay. Just steel on the socket. There we go. Okay. Right. One. So, and somewhere down here, number three, there we go, excellent. Now these have a torque, although I'm not going to bother, these are standard 10 newton meters. Basically, not too tight, otherwise you might snap them off. Okay, done. Okay, I know it's a really simple task uh, topping up or changing uh, final drive gear oil, but there's a lot of specifics and if you don't know exactly what oil to use and you don't know what the torque settings are for the filler and the drain bolts then um, you know there's too many variables in the whole thing. It's nice to know that you've got it right rather than thinking, geez, was that the right oil for that diff? You know? It's not the end of the world if it's your own diff, but if it's somebody else's quad bike that you're servicing, you don't want it coming back in three months' time with those, uh, those brake friction plates um, all burnt out, because it shouldn't happen on a bike that's as young as that. Now, it's all about getting it right. Okay, well, if you've got any questions or comments, then please do leave them below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, you could also subscribe to the channel if you like, and then you'll get uh, free notifications as and when any new videos are uploaded to the, uh, to the channel, Andy Mechanic. And there's usually at least three or four, if not more, every single week. And I think after this week there's about ten videos going up there, once I get them all edited. Um, so there you go. Hope you found it helpful. Cheers. Thanks for watching. Over and out.